just hit the dance floor Don't work too hard, my break a backbone Return of the Mac, the king is back though Corvette and cash, I never lack those She saw the stone, you know how that go Fatality, my diamonds that cold Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke Knock on the door, she at the back, bro All it really take is a little taste Allen girl, blue eyes with a little bass Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir Wanna vibe it to get away Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way Don't step out the line like this, a pro Hey guys, this is Electric Dreams here I'm here to show you guys the Fido Beast. I've been on this electric scooter for about a week now, and I feel fully justified to show you guys my in-depth review of this electric scooter. A good time, so now it's in the whip, we left it. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit, 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 lit. Good times, living in the moment. Now, the Fido Beast is not the first electric scooter that I've been on. I've been on quite a few. But this electric scooter with its dual stance option makes it such an incredibly fun electric scooter to ride that I felt it was worthy to bring to the channel. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the Fido Beast. This 48 volt, 32 amp hour, 1536 watt hour electric scooter is equipped with dual motors, 500 in the front and 800 in the rear, which can be toggled on and off. It's also equipped with dual suspension systems on both the front and the rear, dual hydraulic disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors and three speed modes with the max speed of 45 kilometers an hour. Other unique features include the extremely wide handlebar and the adjustable height on the stem. Now this will allow riders to fine tune exactly the right height and the right comfort level for their ride experience. This passcode lock is not something often we see on an electric scooter. However, this multifunctional passcode lock acts as a removable battery lock, a power on and off switch, as well as a switch between zero start and push start function. Let's talk about everything I love about the Fido Beast. First off, the clear and easy to use display, the really clean wiring for a scooter that has adjustable stem height. I also love the fact that the Fido Beast offers unique dual riding style with actually pretty good acceleration for a scooter that's 48 volts. And even though the motor may seem small on paper, but it actually offers quite a bit of power. I was also quite impressed with the range. I was able to cover about 70 kilometers, and for riders who are new to this channel, I'm about 90 kilos and with gear on a bit more. This suspension also doesn't bounce like a zero scooter. It actually has a dampening effect where it stabilizes really quick. And one more thing that I think a lot of people who are new to the scooter market may oversee is Fido's experience in building a folding mechanism. They've been building foldable electric bicycles out in the market for a long time now. And now they've put that experience into their electric scooter. The handling is also quite superb. It was precise and accurate. Handling will be greatly reduced if you have the off-road tires, so if it's an option, I suggest putting on the road tires. Now let's break down the basics of the things I don't like about the Fido Beast. Starting off with the most obvious is the rear mud guard. I've kind of done a whole DIY situation there with a uh, paper organizer or a file organizer and kind of taped it on with zip ties and it does work quite well. And that's because the stock mud guard on the rear is way too short. So if you're riding seated or standing, the water will actually spray back onto your leg. The second point was going to be the light and the horn. And they've since made drastic improvements on it and it works quite well now. Now, another one of the bigger issues is the pedal positioning. Now, though this pedal uh, is on the front fork and it nicely folds up, it doesn't work well. And if you can imagine riding seated down, it kind of, when you're turning, pushes back onto yourself. Now on the manual and from everything they told me, they don't suggest you riding with your foot down. It's not an issue for me because I'm not one of the taller riders. So I put my feet right here and whether I'm turning or going straight, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's comfortable for me, but if you need, a, if you're a taller person, I'd say, you know, 
185 and above, maybe having your seat, uh, your feet on the deck here is going to be a slightly cramped experience. And if you're going to be using these pedals, well, only do it if you're going straight. The last thing is the extremely wide handlebar. Though it's very comfortable to have a handlebar this wide, it makes it hard for you to put it into a trunk. Not that I think most trunks won't be able to put it in, but if you do have to put it into your trunk or if you're fitting through tight gapways, this might get in the way. It'd be nice if a handlebar this wide was foldable. Not ready, but we've already started. I'm not ready, but we're already falling. So I know quite a few people are going to look at the Fido Beast and be extremely confused about what it is. And yes, it's, it's something different. It's something unique. It's not another Xiaomi lookalike scooter. It's not another Zero 10X or a Cabo high-powered lookalike scooter, you know, that looks exactly the same with their stock parts. But Fido has really taken it out of their comfort zone to make something different for the scooter market. And I think this does it well. Don't take the scooter too seriously. I mean, especially in the seated position. Have fun while riding it. And I think the scooter does a great job. You know, having this seated position or having the ability to sit down and ride in an environment like, you know, the park or somewhere where it's safe is extremely fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And um, if you're okay with being unique, if you're okay with being, you know, slightly different from everyone else riding a Zero 10X scooter or something that looks like that, then the Fido Beast is perfect for you. So if you're interested in picking up the scooter, the scooter is available on, I believe, Indiegogo where they're crowdsourcing it and you'll get a discount or uh, it'll be available on their official website. So uh, be sure to check out the links below in the description. And thanks for everyone for watching this video and for supporting my channel. Stay tuned for the next review.